up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel chess doctor here with yet another banger and in today's video we'll be playing some more chess guys it is what it is and uh, this is what you get every day it's chess content and we just do be playing chess okay so uh, we're going to play a uh, 10 minute rapid today uh, because as I said in my last video I think I should play more rapid okay and you all t told me that million times and now I'm finally listening to you all so we're going to continue playing some rapid okay so let us begin let's find our victim today uh, in 10 minutes of rapido uh, and I think I'm honestly crushing these rapid people because yesterday on my stream I just turned on some rapid and I subliminally crushed uh, two out of two people okay it's very easy it's very easy not gonna lie but some people can be tricky because they just really don't want to give up okay so Vienna game is something very annoying <laughs> Vienna game is something that I have never studied and it's just very, it's very annoying especially this Vienna gambit or whatever I hate it okay uh, so we're going to go and do something like this because uh, I usually take the pawn, but now I want to try out something new. I want to I wanna not take the pawn. I want to uh, decline the gambit, okay? So we're going to see uh, what's going to happen now. Because I'm literally just experimenting here at this point, okay? But I am 1000 elo now, okay? I, I am 1000 elo. So uh, I, I can just develop the bishop and protect this and castle up. I mean... I don't see what's the other point. Okay, he can go here, uh, but we we can we can just take that, or we can just ignore it. <laughs> I don't know. We can just develop a horse and literally ignore it. Okay, I mean uh, it is what it is. This person is called Levi's Foot. Okay, so we're playing against we're playing a game of chess against Levi's Foot. I'm wondering if it's uh, uh, right or left foot. <laughs> okay. Excuse moi. Ex okay, I mean, I guess this is just a part of the gambit. Oh, because if I go back, he wants to fork me. That's the deal. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. I see your little trick. Uh, but I can just take the pawn. I can just take... What's happening? So I'm just subliminally up a piece, okay? <laughs> I mean, this is kind of like haha <laughs> tricky or whatever. Uh, he can go here, right? Uh, but I can just develop like this and literally not care. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because I see that he wants to like take that horse, so I have to take back with the queen. Because uh, if he takes here, I don't want to ruin my structure here. But wait, if he takes here, I can just take here. But then he like wants to make me not castle. Oh my god, the arrows are very bad, okay? Hmm, so I think that the best move is literally knight to c6 because I'm protecting this and then if he takes I can just take here and get rid of all of my problems honestly so I'm gonna go with knight to c6 because I don't care I, I would like to castle I, I would like to castle though I would really like to castle because that was my plan from the from the move three okay but outside of that I don't care about trading because I'm up a piece okay sir so I'm fine with all of that so he do be uh, attacking uh, the, the bishop, which is protected. So if he takes, uh, we take, and uh, he can't take because we're protecting. Uh, but then we can, we, oh my goodness, this is a lot of math, guys. I was, I was bad at math in school, okay? I was bad at math, so we have to calculate this, okay? So he wants to take this, right? He, he really, really wants to take our bishop. So if he takes here, and then we take back like this, uh, of course he won't take like this, that's not even an option. But if he takes here, we take, that's just a trade. Uh, but then he can like take here, and we can't take here because then we are equal, and we don't want to be equal, so we have to take like this, and we don't want to ruin our structure. But I also would like to castle. Uh, but I'm now thinking about this move, because it's kind of like, do you want to trade queens? Because, huh, it's all very weird, it's all very weird. I mean, we can probably give him a check, though. Uh, but we actually can't. <laughs> okay, but wait, this horse is protecting the queen, so we can actually castle up after that. If he trades it up. Huh, so wait, takes... Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with this move. I'm gonna go with that move because 
Honestly, even if I don't hustle, I don't care at this point. I'm plus four, sir. I don't care, okay? Sometimes chess is actually just easy. Up material, trade, okay? That's just it. Up material, do not care, okay? That's just it. You don't have to overthink it like I did right now. <laughs> because I spent a minute and a half thinking about bishop takes b2, okay? Uh, but it is what it is. Sometimes in rapid, you should actually take your time. Because many people told me like... Sapa, whenever you play rapid, you just blitz it through. Please calm down, you know, take your time, chill. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so we can uh, we can force a trade here now. Uh, we can trade the queens. Uh, but I'm not really a, a person of trading queens. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. I would rather go back here. Yeah, I would rather do that. Because honestly, wh what's the problem if we go there? Okay, but wait. Uh, if we, we if we like uh, trade up here after I move here the bishop, and then I take here he can uh, fork me. Oh, but he can't because my bishop will be here. Okay, so that's actually okay. That's actually okay. Okay, that's actually okay. Okay, <laughs> Vienna Gambit is very weird. It's very weird. I I should definitely study it up though. I should study it up, but. Sir, I'm lazy. <laughs> Sir, I would rather play intuitively. But I think I'm fine because he just gave the piece in the beginning. So, I mean, maybe that's the part of the gambit. I mean, Levi's foot. Sir, he do be a strong opponent, okay? <laughs> Levi's foot. I'm wondering if that's a real Levi's foot on the, on the picture, you know? Okay, so he also doesn't want to treat queens, uh, which is fine. Uh, but now we just don't have the same issue. We can ask both the bishop and the knight a question, or we can just castle and be safe. Uh, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna ask him a question to see whether or not he's gonna trade. Uh, and he still can't fork me here because the bishop is protecting it, which is good, okay? And if he trades the bishop for a knight, I would be happy. I would actually be happy about it. I just have a little bit less time, of course, because I'm trying to <laughs> figure out the position. He do be... Oh, he wants to keep the pin. <clears throat> okay, sir. Uh, then we're gonna ask another question. Because after that, he goes where? Uh, but maybe we should castle first. Maybe we should castle because we don't want to get accidentally forked. Wait, but th then the rook gonna be here. Yeah, that won't be a fork anymore. Okay. Okay, we're going to castle first. Because the castle should be my priority, right? I'm 1000. I should think simply uh, simply like that. I shouldn't overthink it. I shouldn't be too extra. I was extra enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a6 next. Because the horse won't stand there, sir. I am not allowing that. He do be attacking this uh, twice. But I think I'm uh, enough defended. Even if he takes, we take... Uh, and I mean, if he takes here, we are fine. We don't care. Uh, we also have a queen protecting this. I think we're chilling. Uh, so let's ask a question, okay? Because we don't care. Sack it. Do whatever you want. Okay, he just gave the piece. He, he just gave the piece, okay? Sir, it is... I mean, it's time to resign, Levy. It's time to resign. What's happening here? <laughs> he just gave two pieces for nothing. <laughs> See, that's what I'm telling you. I should play more rapid because I'm actually very good at it. I'm actually very, very good at it. Or my opponents are just so bad. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but it's either one or the other thing. Okay, we can give this check or, or like this. But do we want that? I mean, it would be cool... Uh, to get out of this pin. That's the only annoying thing currently because he can just go here, but then we just take here. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of arrows. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do it with the bishop because the bishop is under question, and I think we should move the bishop because if we put the queen here, uh, then if he takes here, we can't take back because the rook gonna snatch our queen, so we have to ruin the structure here. Which, as I said already, we don't want that. Uh, but it's cool. So far, so good. Uh, we can ask the rook a question now, because what are you doing here, sir? What are you doing here, sir? What are you doing here? Come on, move. Move the way. I'm plus seven. He's still not resigning, though, because he's Levi's foot. I mean, he do be Levi's foot, okay? Okay, so he snatched the pawn, which I totally uh, did not count in. And I think I should move my queen, like, somewhere like this. 
uh, because I really want to get out of the pin. And if he trades it up now, I don't care. I still have this bishop. I'm not very like afraid of him taking this pawn or whatever other pawn. He can take all of my pawns, okay? Because I'm already plus six. So I can offer a rook trade here. I can do wonders. I just have to play faster. Uh, but still, four and a half minutes is a, literally a blitz game. So uh, if I can play a whole blitz game, I can do it here as well, sir. I, I am fast enough, I think. I mean, not in this game. I, I know he has more time, but in general, I feel like I'm, a, I'm an okay fast player, you know. Not the fastest one, but I can, I can manage the time. I can manage the time scramble. So I think we're, we're chilling, okay? So uh, the king is, I mean, here in the corner. <laughs> so uh, the, we're not pinned anymore, which is good. Uh, we, can, we can go here even, but I'm not very sure about that. I don't really like opening up my king so much. I, I'm not really the biggest fan of that. Wait, if we jump here, we can then jump here for the fork. That's also good. Yeah, because the bishop is protecting this, see? So, but it all depends now on what he gonna respawn, because, yeah, he can go here, but then we just take, okay? I, w I was scared at the first uh, first look, like, did I just fork myself? <laughs> but yeah, this fork is still not working. We can take multiple ways and still not care. I mean, he can put a rook there, uh, but... Uh, in the time that he does that, we are we're just going to you know move the way. Uh, but I feel like he left. That's what I don't like about rapid. That's what happened to me in, uh, in the live stream tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. <laughs> it can be. It happened tomorrow. It happened yesterday, guys. When I was live, I was playing rapid and I crushed the person so bad that he left. And he left for like two minutes or something, which is okay. But this person is going to then be gone for five minutes. So we're just going to look at each other. <laughs> Please resign, Levy. Levy are... I mean, Levy's foot is not the best player, okay? Levy's foot is not the best player. If, he, if it was a whole Levy, not just his foot, maybe we wouldn't stand any chances. But like this, when we're just playing against his foot, I think we are fine. Okay, so he took this. Uh, which is, I'm happy about it. I mean, I, I would like to trade because, you know, I like to trade because I'm up material. But it took him two and a half minutes. I was really afraid my, my friend Levy here just left, okay? I was really afraid of that. But we have to be aware of this. Currently, it can it's protected multiple ways, as I said. But we have to still pay attention, you know, we shouldn't forget about it. That's my problem in chess sometimes, like I forget about certain things. I notice them and then after two moves I completely forget about them. But I think it's not just me, I think it's other people as well. Okay, so now he's moving the queen here. And uh, <laughs> we can do a, a, a <laughs> interesting thing like this. Or maybe better with the bishop. Because then we're blocking the pawn from passing and we're also threatening ourselves here. Maybe we should have gone with, here with the queen. Uh, but then the queen wouldn't be aligned with the bishop. Maybe it would actually be the best if we went with the horse. Because we would attack the bishop and, and kind of force a trade in a way. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, can we force a trade anyhow else? I mean, we can snatch this pawn. We can snatch the pawn just like that. Uh, but I want to offer a rook trade here. I think that's actually fine. Because we're now no longer afraid of this happening. This this is no longer an option. Yeah, I want to trade the rooks. I mean, the rook here is very offside for my opponent. Honestly, he's on the completely wrong side of the board. Um, but I, I still want to trade it up because, as I said, I'm up material. Chess is simple. Up material, trade it. That's it. I already made a video about this. So I'm not going to repeat myself even though I already did twice in this video. <laughs> okay, so he took a pawn. Uh, okay, sir, I'm gonna I'm gonna trade it. I don't mind trading it. I don't mind trading this either. So I'm gonna take a pawn as well. Is he gonna trade it like this? Because it's not very good for him to trade, that's the deal. So I'm very happy about all of the trades that he makes. Even if he won a pawn in the in the meantime, it's fine, it's fine. So now we're in the time scramble, and this is interesting. 
to see a natural uh, rapid players in their completely unnatural habitat, which is time scrambles. Okay, so he wants to like add the pressure or whatever. Uh, we shouldn't care much about it. Uh, we should. We can just move the horse. Cause he wants to like. Oh, the queen is overloaded. Blah blah blah. She's not. She's not, sir. We're attacking the rook. You can't take. Uh, we can go here, attack the queen. We have a lot of potential here, we do. So this is just a simple game. We can go back here with the bishop. Uh, but currently the, the rook is under question, so he just has to he just has to make up his own solution here. Yeah, it's it's very easy. This game was very easy. He just gave two pieces for sir for nothing. For nothing. Levy's foot, okay, okay. Levy's foot. Okay, so he's uh, not allowing me this. Yeah, I'm gonna go back here, I feel. Or should we go somewhere else? Hmm. I shouldn't spend too much time either, but I do have more time than him, so I shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, should I? Because wait, I, I can maybe check and meet the dude. But how, sir? Yeah, the horse doesn't have a lot of potential. Yeah, let's just go back and then go with f5. That's now my idea here. Because both the, the uh, all of these things are protecting this file, so we don't care. Hmm, but it, it's kind of stressful to play a position like this because I'm plus six and I don't want to lose it, okay? <laughs> okay, so he's pinning me. Uh, we're going to move the way like this. Because this is protecting this, this is protecting this, and now we're also attacking the bishop. Uh, and that's good. That's very good. Okay, so he do be in a time rush, and I think we just won the game. Because people get really stressed out when they see their clock getting red. I know from my own experience, okay? <laughs> when I say people, I mean myself included, okay? I'm not judging, I just say the facts, okay? When you see the clock is red, we ain't any witty alien that we can play this fast, okay? We're in rapid for a reason. <laughs> We're in rapid for a reason. We started a 10 minute game for a reason. I don't mind the trade. Oh, wait, I take, he takes. Then I have to move the bishop. Uh, but I don't mind the trade. I don't mind the trade. I don't mind the trade. I do not mind the trade. Yeah, let's let's go here. Or should no, we should go here. Uh let's ask the rook a question. He's playing faster now. <laughs> yeah, you can take I take if he takes here we just take he can take here. We don't even care now. We don't even care if you lose the queen. But yeah, this is just like more material, more more worth. It was two bishops for a rook, so it's fine. Okay, we can't take this, sadly. He takes here, we take here. Wait, he can't back rank us, that's the deal. Uh, wait. Can we go here? Yeah, he can't back rank us, so we're just chilling. Okay, I think we just won. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, he gave the queen for free, so let's take it. <laughs> okay, he ended up giving the queen as well. I mean, I probably had mate in one, right? Yeah, let's see evaluation. Let's see before. Before he gave the queen. Okay, it was mate in. A was mate in one. I could have checked and mated him here. Uh, but I, I just really, really wanted to take the queen, <laughs> okay? Because I took his everything, so let's take the queen at the end of the game. It doesn't matter, we, we won, so we don't care if it's by checkmate or not. So let's go for the game review quickly. It's a 20 minute video for one game, uh, but I really enjoyed the game. Levis, uh, Levis foot, I don't know, left or right, uh, it was a good game. 72.3% accuracy for him. An 85.1 for me, which is a very good accuracy for me. Very, very good. I mean, for my opponent as well. So, okay. 
he blundered here, just gave it, okay. And after that, it was pretty straightforward. Oh, this was actually the best move. See, my intuition is very good. I'm just doing, I'm doing a, a very well in rapid. I'm doing very well. He, here, this is a good move. He just gave the horse. It was a good move. Okay. Now we have a check. Okay. Not caring about trades. This is what I like. And the last move is going to be missed win. I know that, but it's fine. <laughs> I knew we had mate in one. I just wanted to take the queen. You ignored an opportunity to win a queen throughout the fork. Where? Uh, best move. Here and here. Well, I, I probably wouldn't be winning the queen. I would probably be winning the rook, right? Maybe I would win the queen as well. I don't know. Okay. Uh... Now we have this. Okay. And now this is a missed win. What's the best move? This. This continues the checkmate threat. Okay. And now this is a miss. Of, of course, of course. I just didn't... I wanted to take the queen. Uh, 1400 estimate elo. Uh, both opening and middle game were great. 96.5% uh, accuracy of the opening. Even though, as I said, Vienna game, Vienna gambit. I have no idea what is happening there. But I, I just played this game subliminally. And 90% accuracy in the middle game. Okay, I mean, the middle game was easy because he just gave everything. 1,000 for him. Okay, that's good. That's good because he's not 1,000 yet. They say, I really outplayed my opponent. I took the advantage of the opportunities I got in the beginning. And uh, it was a well-fought middle game that I just got better off, which was true, which was true. It was a well-fought, uh, but I was just straight up winning the whole time. You can look at this graph. I was just winning the whole time, okay, guys? So, uh, the point of today's video is all I do is win, uh, no matter what, as DJ Khaled would say. I'm very happy I beat Levi's, uh, Levi's foot. I'm just wondering, uh, is it left or right? I, I guess I will, I will never know, uh, but I still beat him, okay? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's game. I really, really liked it. It was very nice, slow-paced, uh, and very, very good, with a lot of... Uh, trades uh, that were very good for me and that were just going into my advantage uh, so i hope you enjoyed this game i hope you enjoyed seeing me win and i hope you enjoyed seeing some rapid finally again uh, so guys thank you for stopping by and watching me play uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day and thank you for supporting me make sure to leave some comments uh, to let me know uh, how would you play this did i miss anything how do you like this because i'm very proud of myself and i hope that you are as well and uh, if you enjoyed this video, you already know it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you already aren't. Check out the description, join the Discord, join the Discord if you want to hang out with us and join the Soul Crushers Club as well. And for everybody who wants to support or donate, uh, make sure to check out the description for Buy Me A Coffee and Patreon and uh, memberships. Okay, so that's it guys, that's it. Uh, have a wonderful day. I love ya, uh, thank you for stopping by, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow in a new video. That's it from your chest, doctor, keep on smiling! Bye-bye!